Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is The Stitch and Colourist with Shelley Lewis. I hope you're all having a good week wherever you are and that you're all nearly ready for Christmas. I cannot believe it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. Uh, for this video, I'm going to be doing a very, very, very long-awaited video that I've really been wanting to do since I had these markers. But, you know, one thing happens after another and you just either can't find the time or things get in the way so guys what i wanted to show you in this video and i wanted to do a swatching as of is of these adult artist markers they are called mount marte i think is how you pronounce it the dual tip art markers premium so and they are alcohol based ink and also for a professional level so these type of markers i'd say definitely for adult ways this set that i got was a 24 set now i got these if i just move that book a minute i got these from a place in the uk called tk max if you're aware of a tk max um and sometimes well it's mostly they have clothes but they do have other things like household items they have things like i don't know makeup jewelry handbags things like that but on an occasional not all the time but occasionally they do have some really good art markers some artist uh quality supplies and i found these uh i like i said i only found the 24 set now these were 16 pound 99 i paid for these so on the back it gives you the colors that they have but also obviously it gives you the tips so if we open the box up with this clip at the front here are the beautiful markers now i think looking at those first off those are really really pretty selection of markers for just a 24 set so we're going to do some swatching and we'll have a look at what these markers are actually like because i've not tried these markers yet i've not tried them at all Okay, Let's see if I can find where of. Ah, right, here we are. Now, for obviously to save time on the video, for obviously purposes, because it being near to Christmas and I do have a very, very lot to do today, I've pre written out the marker name. Sorry about this, it's trying to get me thinking right so i've pre-written out the markers and also the shade names so we're going to go straight into it we're going to have a look at the markers so the first one is blurred vision by the looks of it so every now and again this camera will change because i'm going to have to keep changing I do apologise about this guys, it's because I'm trying to get the camera right so I can get all of it in. So the first one is, well basically this is what the markers look like. They are triangular shaped, just zoom you out a minute while I do this bit. They are triangular shaped, the dual tipped, on the one end you get your fine tip and on the other end you get your broad chisel tip now i never used to use chisel tips i've only just started using them and i must say i'm actually glad i started using them now they're really good for larger areas so on the tips of the markers as well it has the shade color as well as a number and a name so that's a biggie in my book because obviously we all like the numbers of markers and the shade colors and the shade names don't we so I'm going to use this one. So the first one that I'm testing out is 26 Pastel Peach. And I shall use the fine end to try this. I hope you can see that fine. It's going out of focus. So I hope you could see that fine. 
So the first one actually looks okay. It looks the same shade as the actual marker. So that is the first one and it's pretty kind of similarity. On there it looks a bit darker but this paper has got black backing so that's probably what that could be. Before we go any further, yes guys you guessed it, I didn't put a page protector behind. So I'm going to use this Christmas wrapping paper. <laughs> Why not? So the next one is 35 Lemon Yellow. I want to see how that's nice it's a nice pretty yellow it's my first time actually using these markers I've never used them before I haven't even tested them out because I wanted to do the video for you guys so the next one is 45 canary yellow So that's like a lighter yellow. It's like kind of a bit of a pastel yellow, this one is. I always thought for some reason that canary yellow was brighter. So we've got 23 orange. It's a nice orange. So I hope you're having a good week wherever you are. Every time I think I'm ready for Christmas, I get unready for Christmas if I'm making sense. It's just every time I think I'm ready, there's always something else. So the next one is 14 and it's Vermilion. Now this one looks like an orange as well. It looks quite like a red orange. This one does. I quite like the names of them as well. They've chose some really interesting names for these shades. We have number 12, which is a coral red. Is that how you pronounce it? Is it coral or coral? Yeah, sometimes I don't always pronounce things properly. I'm not sure if it's my actual accent because I'm from the West Midlands, from Birmingham. Birmingham. Or whether it's because <laughs> I just don't say I'm right. Right, number five, Cherry Pink. Now, I'm actually really interested to find out what this one's like because I do like the colour Cherry Pink. All right, so it's more of a red, actually. This one is... It's more of a red. On here it looks more pink, if you can see that, but on there it looks more red. And it does look similar to actual coral red as well. So the next one is Vivid Pink. That's nice. I like that one. We have number seven, which is Cosmos, which is I think I'm guessing is going to be like a pale pink. Yeah, it is. It's like a pale pink. This one. It's nice, like baby pink. So we'll just move this down. Move my book up so you can see the rest of the colours. The next one we have 87. Now, I'm not sure how to actually pronounce this. It's spelt as A-Z-A-L-E-A, -A -A, which I'm guessing is kind of azalea purple. If I'm wrong, please correct me <laughs> and put the right pr pronunciation in. So this is like a pinky purple. I like this one. 
really nice. It reminds me of like a dark magenta. That one's nice. We have 81, which is a deep violet. It's like a deep purple. The next one, I'm going to use a chisel end and see what that's like. That one's nice. We have 71 cobalt blue and we're going to use a chisel tip end for this one and see what those ends are like. So they're all right. With chisel tips, it does take a little bit of use, like get, um, getting used to. Because obviously you have to be careful with the points. So it's not bad. I think at the minute though, I'm quite enjoying the normal. And so we've got 76. I'm not saying, is that? Yeah, that is 76, which is sky blue. That one's nice. How many people have still got to do Christmas shopping? I thought I'd got it all done. I got all the food shopping done the other week. Because I thought I'm going to do it early, get it done, out the way, and at least then it's done. But every, every so often, something else keeps cropping up. And then when you think you want one thing, you end up writing a whole big list again. <laughs> 67 past all blue. So, oh God, yeah. So I don't think I'll ever be ready for like the Christmas shopping. I just hope to God I don't forget to take the turkey out of the freezer tomorrow morning because I know how forgetful I'm getting these days. I'm getting very forgetful. <laughs> so that's nice. It's nice pastel blue. We have 65 ice blue. So this is going to be an interesting colour. So this one, it's, lo it's like an ocean blue. It's a greeny blue, this one is. It's quite nice. I like it. I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. That one and that one are kind of similar, where that one's a little bit darker. We have 48, which is a yellow-green. On the tip, it looks more like a olive colour. Yeah, it is like a yellow green. The yellow green always just, I don't know, for some reason, I could be talking bubble now, but it just reminds me of it's like a spring. It reminds me of springtime. So, before we do the next one, I'm going to bring you back down, guys. Right, I might have to zoom you in a little bit of this. So next one is 59 pale green. I want to see how that one is. So yeah, this is like a yellow green as well. Just like a normal light green. The normal tip, I must admit, they don't seem as juicy as the chisel tip. But they probably just need a work through. So we've got 54. Now this is another one that I might have trouble pronouncing. It is V-I-R-I-D-I-A-N. So I'm guessing it's Viridian. I could be wrong but I'm guessing you pronounce it as Viridian. So... It's a nice green. It's like a forest green, I think. Now we start going to the couple of browns. So we've got 21, which is terracotta. And that is like a... It's got like a tint of orange. It's like a slightly orangey tan. Nice autumn colour this is. I think definitely those two. Those two together are definitely nice as autumn colours. We have 94 which is brick brown. It's 
it's a nice just a general normal brown now we're going to the we've got three greys in this set which i must admit i'm not too fussed about greys we've got wgo 0.5 warm grey now i think with the 24 set three greys are quite a bit I'd say probably just two greys would be enough. I'd happily switch out one of the greys to get one of the other colours. I'd say I'd probably happily switch out a grey to get a brown. So the next grey we've got is BG1 Blue Grey. So that's got like a tint of a blue kind of, I don't know if you can tell that on camera. Got a tint of blue to it. It's like an icy grey. It's alright. Um, we have CG5 Cool Grey. Which I'm guessing this is going to be a darker grey because it looks dark. Oh, so actually it's not all that dark to be honest. Because I thought with the tip, because the tip of it looks darker, I thought the actual ink could be darker, but it's not. So if you look there, it to me it looks magia, yeah. So the last colour we've got is obviously in all marker packs, most of them anyway, you get a black. So this is 120 black. So we're going to see how black this is. So it's okay. Like I said, the normal tips they don't seem as juicy as a chisel tip. But as I said before, they probably just need a good workout. So that is it. That is the 24 set. So if I zoom you out, we're going to have a look at some colours now. Have a look at the colours in the sets and see what they're like. So guys, for a 24 set, I don't think this is bad at all. As I said before, there would be one colour that I changed, like the greys. We've got three greys in the set. For some people, that'd be brilliant. But for me personally, I'd happily swatch out, switch out one of the greys for a brown. Because we have just two browns in the pack. We just have like a really tan and a brick brown. We could do with probably a darker brown. Hold on, sweetheart. We have three greens, which are quite nice. The yellow, well, actually, no, there is a difference. I was going to say the yellow green and the pale green are similar, but they're not actually. They are different, so I'm happy with that. Now, these two are slightly similar. The pastel blue and icy blue. It's just like a shade darker, the icy blue. But I'm not moaning at that. I am happy with that. In the set, we have four blues, so uh, I would say you don't need four blues, but then again, there is a fair bit of difference between the blues, so I'm going to be happy with that. I'm not going to moan at that. I quite like it. So purples, we have technically the azalea purple is supposed to be a purple and you've got deep violet. Um, that, I'd say that is more, it has got a tint of purple to it, but I'd say it's more pink. So we've got about three pinks, four pinks, and we have one deep violet. So if I had a choice, I would probably have a light uh, violet in with that. Reds, we have vermilion and coral red and cherry pink. You could pass that as a red as well. Um, I'm happy with that. There's no problem with that. We have orange. Uh, there's only that one orange. There isn't a lighter orange or a darker orange. But then again, in a 24 set, you can only go so far. You have two yellows, which I think are really good. And we have pastel peach, which that would be brilliant as a skin tone colour. So... Thank you, darling. It's my little girl. So, my overall thoughts of this, guys, I'm happy with it. 
there is some colours that I'd uh, probably change, but for a 24 set, I'd say fantastic. The colours I'd say to probably bring in, them would be great for doing like a 30 set. So I will have a look online to see if they do bigger sets. I'm not going to get any at the minute because I have quite a few markers. So these are just enough just to use in the colouring books that I kind of do. Because I do have a lot of marker sets. Uh, would I say they're worth $16.99? Yeah, I would. I'd definitely say they're worth $16.99 because you get 24 in a set. So they're less than a pound a marker. So those are definitely worth it. Oh yeah, I would pay $16.99 for them. So guys, that is where I'm going to leave this video today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, feel free to press that subscribe button and the notifications of when I bring the next video out. Uh, thank you for watching. And this will actually be my last video before Christmas now because it's Christmas Eve tomorrow. Uh, Christmas, obviously, I'm busy with my family. Boxing Day, I'm with my family as well. So I may do a video the day after that. So I'll bid you farewell for now, guys. Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas to you all and a very Happy New Year. Thank you so much as well for the support for the channel. Um, with all this that's going on with YouTube, I was before I was considering giving up on the channel. Then I stopped doing videos, colouring ones, but for your support and that gives me that go to want to carry on i'm still gonna do the videos i i love my channel and i love all of you guys and i do not want to give it up so thank you for watching guys and i'll just see you again soon goodbye for now do you want to say bye 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 <laughs> bye